Hey, Victoria here, and I know I've been gone for like, ever, and my room is a complete and total mess, but by the time you'll be watching this, I will actually be in Key West, and this was totally pre-recorded, and I'm totally uploading this from like a condo or something like that. So, I'm actually in the middle of packing right now, but I decided I should get this video done, or else there might possibly be another week without a video, and that would be really, really, really bad. So where was I for the past three weeks, approximately? I was in Tennessee visiting my friend Mason, where I attempted to climb rocks. Apparently, I'm just supposed to climb that <laughs> shit. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Oh, this isn't bad at all. Actually, this is really easy. Uh, said some kind of awkward things. And his pants are nice, but they're not even on. <laughs> so, like, what's the point of having nice pants if they're not even on? And just generally had a lot of fun. <laughs> but I am back. I am back and I shouldn't be leaving for a long time. And now we are going to get on to the topic of discussion for this week. Asexual frustrations. Now, you may be wondering what I'm talking about. Because, I mean, let's face it, we've all heard somebody say, Ah, oh, I'm so sexually frustrated. But, what is there out there for an asexual? What kind of frustrations do we face? Well, obviously, there is, of course, romantic frustration where you're just like, Ugh, forever alone. But then there are some other ones that I've found are quite common amongst asexuals. Or maybe just everybody, but they're not admitting it. Now, as Lily mentioned in one of her videos, I think she covered this topic last week, she tends to be frustrated when it comes to dancing because it's no fun dancing alone. I completely and totally and utterly have to agree with this. While I can, you know, dance spastically all by myself, kind of empty when I do it alone. It's like, sometimes it's just really fun to have another person with you and just get jiggy with it, dance, dance, dance. Isn't get jiggy with it usually like in a new, I don't know. But anyway, point is, I have dancing frustration. Another form of frustration per se that I experience quite often is cuddling frustration. And this is actually something that has been very predominant in my life since I was around, uh, let's go with like 12 years old. I am a very, very, very cuddle frustrated person. And I know it sounds really silly, but sheesh, there are just so many nights in the week where I'm sitting and like, I don't know, watching Doctor Who, and I think to myself... <laughs> And you know what? There really isn't a remedy for cuddling frustration except to find somebody else to cuddle with. I mean, you can try other things. But they don't quite get the job done. And then there's always that thought in your head that you have where you consider just possibly going out and dating somebody and doing something terrible like a one cuddle stand where you proceed to cuddle with them for the life, get their hopes up and tell them to leave because you're done. But I would never do that. Never. Never. Maybe I would. Yeah, if anybody out there wants to... And a final frustration for me usually is conversational frustration, not having somebody at hand who I can just talk to and like have an in-depth conversation with, that usually pops up too because of course my best friend is kind of far away and I don't get to see her often 
So I guess that's another asexual frustration. Then again, sexual people experience that too. But to sum it all up, I guess all of my frustrations would just string back to my intense need to have intense relationships with people. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but for me, I just like intensity in a relationship, be it platonic or romantic. It just has to be there, and I feel the need to be very connected with a person to the point where we can just do stupid things like dance around and cuddle during movies and just be able to have a conversation. So those are my main frustrations per se and now I'm kinda gonna steal this from AIM I have a question for you what are some of your asexual frustrations or just frustrations in general you should totally leave a comment below in the little comment box telling me about some of those and I will respond to you and give you a smiley face and a virtual piece of cake or something really nifty like that and hopefully I will see you next week with all of my life in order and I'm not traveling and stuff and I will have some epic ugly half tan half burn lines to show you because all of my clothes have these like absolutely crazy strap patterns so that'll be fun see you next week <laughs> Lame. Uh, yeah.